All right, good morning guys, we made it. As you can see behind me, we're at the pits at Osceola Outback. Kim and Byron are loading up a few more poles, um, but I am starting with a little whopper plopper. Gonna do some top water fishing this morning for, for some very Monday. We'll see what we get, stay tuned. And we got Miss Jen out here this morning. Oh, I was hoping that was gonna happen. Dang! <laughs> that was good time. That was great time. Go! Oh my God, it's huge! <laughs> nice fish, girl. Good job. Yeah, that's awesome. Uh -oh. <laughs> I can put this rod down. And I'm done. <laughs> You're like, all right, I call my fish for the day. Yep, right? I'm done. I can say I won. Want to commit. Mm -hmm. They definitely want to males. come back for it. <laughs> I, I tell them they're males. They got commitment issues. <laughs> I'm retying. I haven't caught anything yet. All right, so they didn't want top waters, so I switched this little jig head, little sartreuse tail. So see if they want this. Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> he's pissed. Oh, he's trying to get you around the dock. Woo! Instagram. There we go. Good job. Another one. Gonna bring out. There we go. Yes. That's a good one. Oh yes. Oh yeah. He's still a little green, so when you grab him, be careful. I was gonna say he's not done anyways. That's a good one. That was a good one. He came out of nowhere. Woo! Got one, guys. Pretty. Really pretty. He put up such a good fight right at shore. That was so awesome. <laughs> nice. Dang, nice fish girl. Oh yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for him to kick up water. <laughs> Alright guys, let him go. <gasps> Alright, that was awesome. <laughs> oh he nailed that. You know what I changed? You know what I changed? I was jigging it off the bottom a little bit, kind of like I was doing last time. As soon as I switched to a slow reel, he came over and crushed it. Yeah. He was probably watching you jig it. He probably was. He hit it, scared me. I was on a boat. I'm like, God damn. I thought somebody fell in the pond. I'm like, shit. That was awesome. How crazy is they fight that hard? Do you want to do one-handed? That's crazy. Or, um... Listen, by the summertime, they're going to be another four or five pounds heavier. I guess once they hit 20, 22 pounds, when you hook him here, he will burn you almost other end of the pond. That would be so freaking fun. Yep. And to be able to do that all day. Every day. Because <laughs> a barramundi, like a triple tail, is a prehistoric fish. Right. So the name barramundi comes from the aborigines, and it means big scaled river fish. So it was there in the time when the aborigines are, what, a 50,000 year old tribe? Yeah. So they've been fishing, and there's pictures on the walls from like 6,000 BC. I was gonna paintings say, I of bear money on the wall. That, yeah, so it's yeah. a really, really cool, cool fish, That's and really it's not cool. changed much in its, you know, its <laughs> presentation all those years. That's so cool. <clears throat> and it's so cool that you have it right here on your property. Yeah. There we go. He tried to go for the dock. I'll take it right as I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Chill, bro. That one is bigger. Jane came over and crushed that. Yeah, another nice one, guys. Nice fish, nice fight.
It's <laughs> so hard. <laughs> you know, I had, I think I had a little bite too. You'll hit him. Yeah, yeah you'll hit him. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> you can't do it. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> it gets so tired. It's a workout. You burn 47 <laughs> calories. Here. here, I'm gonna show you here. Hold this. Yep. Thanks. Thanks for getting fluffed up. For You're welcome. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I'm gonna have to get you some more because you're gonna have Yes. Oh, we got that sniper. 